the most dramatic saga we've seen in a little bit from gaming is back with another portion as more news came through on the activision blizzard deal including <sighs> let me take a deep breath here before i get into it <laughs> Sony's admission that Xbox Game Pass is undoubtedly vastly ahead of PS Plus in terms of share and argues Microsoft could have incentives to raise the price of Call of Duty and degrade quality on PlayStation and make COD only available on Xbox Game Pass, as well as news of the Remedy deal on Xbox decide to only address cloud gaming services with no console-related assurances offered to Sony with the European Commission's, not the CMA, backtracking concerns to just cloud gaming after Sony argued that it was much more than that. So some divergence of thought there between Sony and some of the European Commission's and the regulatory commissions uh he has some, also had some feedback that the uk cma posted six di- um, i was say some feedback from six different gaming studios five were unnamed one was going to be like it was 4j studios who does console minecraft development and they basically gave their opinions to the uk cma uh on the acquisition and all six of them said unanimously that the deal should go through and one even stated that quote the acquisition will not uh, will not all of a sudden make xbox the dominant platform it's far more likely that it may help to create a more level playing field between xbox and playstation which at this point point in time is sorely needed dot 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 playstation needs better competition to force the platform to up its game and this will surely help to do that and all of this comes with the updated timeline the year that the european commission has pushed their decision date to may 22nd which will be the last of the big chunk of major market decisions on whether this deal is clear to go through or not so we may be coming to a head on this whole debacle with a whole bunch of information how do you guys feel about all of this I mean, <laughs> is it? I feel like it's kind of hard not to laugh at this whole situation. It's hilarious. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> no, no, this is funny as shit. Let's be real. Let, we can start with point number one. Let's break this down. First and foremost, Sony just outright was like, hey, listen, PlayStation Plus is ass. Xbox Game Pass is clearly better than us, guys. What do you mean? They're going to just play this advantage. So again, Everybody's taking an L. They have to just self-admit something. They have to openly admit something about their service in order to gain an advantage. And it's hilarious to me. I feel like the whole like the whole thing about them like making the game worse on a on a specific like platform as if that's gonna get anyone else to invest in your system. Like is that is that the argument there? Like son, that's like saying, hey yo, I cheated on you because <laughs> I thought you was gonna cheat on me. And you had no evidence of that before. You had no like, like like, inkling. Like, oh, oh my god, bro! Like, COD isn't working on my PS5. Let me go buy an Xbox. Like, what? Mm. What? Like, did they really think that it's worth that much hassle? I think one of the one of the arguments was like, essentially, they would put they would make COD more expensive, but because it's on Game Pass, they're gonna be like, man, if I'm gonna buy COD, I might as well just get an Xbox and Game Pass so that I don't have to pay for COD every year or whatever, or something along those lines. Um. Mm. They're kind of grasping at straws here. Like, honestly, do I want this to go through? The answer will always be no. But at this point, like, when you look at the numbers, like, it was funny because I was thinking about that, like, what they said, which was, like, Sony really needs competition because, like, they don't have competition, so they're allowed to do dumb, whack shit that people aren't a fan of. Um, And I was thinking to myself, like, is Sony ahead? And in my mind... um. Yes, they are ahead right now, but I don't think it's by a lot. But then I thought to myself, is Sony ever gonna? Am I ever gonna leave Sony to go play on an Xbox? No, like no, it's it's not the the, the differences between the two systems are not big enough for me to be like, I'm gonna go play Xbox now, even with Game Pass, even with all that set. Like I'm still gonna play, pick PlayStation nine times out of ten. So maybe this is what <laughs> what Xbox is because like I can't really <laughs> think of a reason to buy an Xbox, and I can't think of a reason to stop and stop buying sony even though me myself there are a lot of things sony does that they suck at like they they do make a lot of shitty business decisions like remember how fortnite was going to be cross-platform and it took sony seven to eight actual millennia to be like yes we will let people play with other consoles like think about when uh rocket league was doing the same thing they're like we're gonna be able to we're gonna go cross-platform all over and they're like nah we cannot do that like sony said no for no reason other than the fact that they just didn't want to and there were no repercussions to them. If Xbox would have did that, they would have gotten crushed. They would have got pimp slap. That yeah, they actually would have. So it's like, I don't know. Again, not pro Monopoly, but I kind of, I'm also like so hands off with this that at this point, like this is kind of the bed that PlayStation has made for themselves. You know, like this is kind of just 
them them being the way they are has led to all of these decisions happening. The, the, it's it's kind of like you guys made your own bed. The consequences of yeah. their actions. This is this this is all I'm saying, bro. We all made fun of Xbox during the Xbox One era and stuff like that for not having no games and all that being this, that, and the third. They got laughed at when they said they wanted to work cross-plat years ago with Nintendo and and my, and um Sony and stuff. They got laughed at. You know what I'm saying? They was getting laughed out the rooms for all that stuff. And I'm not saying I want it to happen necessarily, but all I'm saying is it's wild because now y'all on the back pedal trying to make, make sure everything stops. You know, this whole deal is stopped from happening. And they're on the up and up. Xbox Game Pass got them a long, far, a, a far, a far way. They're starting to you know put some more stuff out. They found a formula that works for them. And now I'm not saying like this is going to be the best move for everybody because I don't know what the impacts of this going to be long term past ten years. I don't know. But in terms of competition with Sony and stuff like that, I I'm an advocate for that because sony's been very at least from moves that we've seen and a lot of different things that have come to light in this investigation sony has it's, it's not even a false confidence it's just like they're so far ahead it's lax and then they don't even like they don't even welcome competition they just want to put a foothold on everybody's neck and while they have this lead and it's like not even a not, not even an arrogance but it's just like that level of like yo you think you above it all, so you're just going to move how you move, and then that's it. And then again, like when said, we've seen this evidence through several different moves, especially on the crossplay front, on how difficult it was to get Sony to just work with everybody else because he, even though everybody else was on board, Sony just wanted to be difficult because they they had that position. <laughs> They're the market leader. But now... Why are they not being difficult, bro? If, you know what I'm saying? Like, And 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 now it's like they're they crying wolf. It's like they're crying wolf and say, oh, yeah, nah, they're going to they do all this unfair stuff that we may or may not have done in the past to other platforms. You know what I'm saying? They're going to do all these crazy things, guys. They're going to do all this crazy stuff. It's wild out here. But... You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's 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 not it's not no fun with the rabbit got the gun, bro. You've been making you've been clowning Xbox for all these years, and now nobody's on your side like that. You had six different companies that the UK was looking at, and the UK was probably your staunchest competition, your staunch your biggest shot at blocking the deal. You know what I'm saying? One of the biggest markets, and then they was like, yeah, nah. All six companies was like, yeah, nah. We need that. We need this competition because PlayStation been bullshitting for years. Like mm -hmm. we need them to step up. That's 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 a damning statement to me. I think it's only just a matter of time. All they can do, and I feel like we've been in the same page, or at least I've been in the same my frame of mind since this whole thing began. Only thing that PlayStation can do is delay, but they can't deny this one. I I don't think they can deny this one. It, it only came down to the efficacy of the deal and what was happening. And even even as a a, a double down, the the same organization like the EU and the CMA. I don't know about the CMA yet, but the EU was like, yo. We're only focused about cloud gaming. We don't give a damn about what y'all do with Call of Duty exactly. Just this cloud gaming stuff. And then they offer those assurances off the bat to like, you know, be on uh, you know, other other storefronts and all that stuff like that, like all the NVIDIAs and whatnot. And they was like, oh, cool. Mm -hmm. That's it. And so what ground does Sony have to stand on now to make this look defensible to everybody else? Not really anything left. So from here, it's just it's just formalities. Mm -mm, man. Yeah, that's uh, at the end of the day, it's just, it's, it's just a joke situation, to be honest. Just... <laughs> Billionaires uh, crying over like, full circle, <laughs> like just going back to it. It's just, the, the whole topic is just a joke. Like, I just they should sort it out, honestly. Honestly, but people had to be petty, so the game got petty, bro. It's literally it's video game of thrones, bro. Video game of thrones out here, but. It seems like it may be finally coming to an end by the hopefully the end of this year. So we can just stop hearing about this. It's funny, but still, it's damn annoying when y'all get into y'all diva bag, bro. Just, just go, let's go make some better games, people. Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's Honestly. do that, bro. Honestly, man. Like, Honestly. Why are we arguing about Call of Duty, bro? And so, this is all over Call of Duty. Nigga, they even like Call of Duty like that no more, man. Like, how, like, bro, Call of Duty must be. <laughs> Bringing in breweries. Buku, buku number. It had, no, it 100% is... still is. It's declining, but it still is. It's still like vastly beyond what people expect.